It's my uh, personal worksman single gear clunker here. You know, I keep doing videos on this bike because I, I'm making little tweaks to it. And I recently, over the weekend, I was messing with this drum brake. But I also added this Johnny True Torch front slant stem here. I picked that up when I had a few bucks last year, a couple extra bucks, <clears throat> which is rare. <laughs> it doesn't seat all the way down in the fork as much as I'd like it to. I would prefer to slam that more. I was going to pull that out and cut that down and mount it today and do that for you. But when I rode the bike here, I actually really liked the height. So I'm going to just leave that for now. As I said, I'm still messing with this uh, drum brake. You can see what I did there. All that's doing is I'm just wedging. That, that's not even bolted in place, but it can't go forward, and that's all that matters. <clears throat> I'm talking about the mount there that stops the brake arm. And I took this apart over the weekend. I did a short video. You've probably seen it already. There's nothing to this. You just remove the wheel from the bike. Remove that stop nut right there. That's just a spacer. And then this whole cover comes off. All these arms here are all just attached to that. And on the back side of this, there's just two springs with your, your drum brake pads. <clears throat> now, I put a dab of grease behind here. I don't think that's an issue, but maybe it is. I don't know. I'm going to get some brake cleaner and clean this out. I've got this adjusted pretty well now. This is like a drum brake on a car, right? Like when you do your wheels... I had an old 67 Dodge. I did a front disc brake conversion on that, but on the rears it was always drum brake, and I was always messing with those. I mean, I had that truck for, I don't know, I think like 20 something years. It was my everyday driver. And when you adjust the drum brake, you adjust it so that the brake pads grab. When you spin the wheel, you can feel the friction, and then they seat, and everything's golden. But on this, on a bicycle, you think that feels weird, you know, like you shouldn't do that because then you're pushing resistance. But I'm playing with that now, and I notice that if I adjust it to there and then I ride it, I will lose the brake a little bit, and it doesn't want to stop, so I have to adjust it more. I think those patches still need to see. I don't know that these things were ever broken in right. I think that's maybe what the issue is going on here. So I'm going to mess around with that some more. <clears throat> You guys have heard what the, what's all over this bike, but I'll go over it again. It's aluminum hoops. These are Worksman hoops. You know, big, heavy-duty aluminum. Pretty cool. And I got a 2.4 tire on there. Fat tire. It does fit in the old-school Schwinn fork. This is the sort of fork you see on a scrambler. Got a mountain bike lever here that uh, will unbolt. So if you want to run it without a front brake, it makes life easier. I've got the tick bars with the uh, Indian head nickel on this side, Jefferson on the other. These are uh, lawnmower grips, snapper mower grips. I just drill out the ends of them so you can see the nickel. I just dig on that. That's my own little thing. We're in the old, I think this is a person's saddle here. <clears throat> Real comfortable. Running the aluminum seat post, that atomic post. It gets, it's real long but it flexes a lot. So I just, this bike just turned out where everything is red on it. And I kind of dig on that. The frame has been outside. I had this uh, back East when I first built it a couple years ago and I was back home all through the fall and it was outside in the rain and snow, drove it across the country like that. So I'm getting some rust coming through the clear coat a little bit. Not, it's not coming through now. I mean, it came through then and I, I just kind of sprayed, uh, WD-40 all over it, and I was leaving it outside a bit, so I kind of, I've been abusing this a bit, but now it's inside. CBE 110 coaster brake on the rear, and I free-balled this whole side here, put extra bearings in it, so that that's, this thing rolls real nice. It's got a sealed bearing bottom bracket, 180 millimeter profile uh, cranks there, running an old school Schwinn sprocket, so I had a kind of machine down a hi-hat washer to make that spacer work for this <clears throat> put a quick release in there there's a spacer in there so this bike came with this fork it's an akisu fork it was yellow when i got it, it was in really bad shape this bike but it says right here akisu 
89. So I'm guessing that this uh, Worksman was a, a 1989 bike. I like these crown forks. This fork, it's reminiscent of an old school fork from back in the day, like even the pre-war bikes. It's obviously way better, not exact. It's got this nice crown on it. And I've got this 1941, I think it's what it is. It's a pre-war frame. I think this is a Colson. I'm not 100% sure. I have a picture folder on it on the Facebook page, the Bikeopolis page on Facebook. A lot of extra brazing. I mean, they even drilled out. And you see that glob right there? They drilled into this and added brazing here. And they added all this brazing in here. Uh all in here and so I put this primer on it <clears throat> the idea with this bike is this frame is going to end up being a tribute bike it's going to be a World War II tribute I'll probably do it like a marine theme you know me but it'll be OD green olive drab green most of the parts will be green I got a set of black wheels I was running for a while on something else it'll go on there so it'll be green and black but mainly green uh, with this fork I think that'll Kind of keep the vibe going and make it look somewhat correct it'll mess with people's heads a little bit and that'll be fun but uh yeah worksman this bike just rides so good you know again i'm running 46 up front and 16 on the rear like i like to do because i'm a man <laughs> you got to get up out of the saddle when you're going up some little hills but that's good for you get a little bit of a workout i know i need it and uh yeah, I'll get you a better shot with a plain background. Hang on. Yeah, that's that.